All right, guys, today we're just going to work on a couple headlock escapes. Uh, sometimes wrestlers like a headlock. Sometimes you end up looking for an underhook and get stuck in a headlock. A lot of Japanese fighters like headlocks, so it's good for beginners and advanced students. So... In Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, we don't use headlocks too much, but there is a lot of good submissions from there. And there is a couple people that are actually really good at, at the position. Uh, a Connecticut fighter is really good at the position. Submits a lot of people, so get a headlock, headlock, headlock. Yep, and let's sit up. Yep. Boom, in this position, all right? A lot of Japanese fighters use this, a lot of judo guys use this, and a lot of wrestlers use this. So it's a, a really tough position to get out of if you don't know how to get out. But the first one we're gonna do is a nice, easy one where we're gonna roll the guy over our opposite shoulder. All right, so look, at, he has my arm too. A lot of times they're pulling up on my arm. So the back hand is gonna grab. He does have submissions here, so I wanna avoid that. He can push this through and get all kinds of key locks. So I wanna avoid that. I'm gonna grab here. So I just took away his submission. I'm gonna walk towards him and get as close as possible. See how my knees are touching him? And then I'm gonna get back on my my feet, but see how my hips touching him still? I don't want to be here. I won't get him over here, especially if he's big. I got to get super close, get on my my feet, and my hips got to be touching him. And then I'm going to bridge him off me, and then over that shoulder. And for some reason, he keeps the headlock. That's your hand. Yes. In here, I make a frame. Put my hand on top of my hand and grind into his face until he lets go. And then take this off. And here, I can get the back maybe. So he's got a headlock. And I'll walk close. So all you guys are going to sit out on this headlock. We're going to do a different one if he's not in this position next. So you're sitting out in here. It's a good position. Walk forward. Grab. Get as close as possible, and get here. Make sure my hip is touching. Bridge, look, I'm not using any strength. Then right over. And if he's stupid enough, you just grind his face in here. I don't want to do it too hard to you. Okay, everyone got it? I need to see one more. We got it. All right, on three, one, two. Let's just say we get in a headlock and the guy's position's not perfect. All right, right now he knows what he's doing. His position's perfect. So I can easily get close and easily get him over. But let's just say his legs are towards my legs more. So, and he's doing like, just like a street headlock. And I'll get, and I can't really get him over because his weight's way down here. Well, that's all I do is just grab either the lat or I come around and get the shoulder in here, all right? Start walking my hips away and get my elbow on the ground. Then, keep the headlock. Then I post, because look. Then I bring him over. And it'll be the same exact position. Oh. It's actually a good headlock escape. My nephew has used it in wrestling. It actually works pretty well if you're stuck underneath there. So I just gotta make sure I get the elbow out right away. See, I just put my elbow to the mat. So if we're in uh, side control and he switches over to the headlock, get here right away. Come over, reach, and try to grab the bicep. So it's not even the shoulder, as far around as possible. Come to my knees, pull my hand out, get on my elbow, then my hand, then look, bring him right over. Grind his face, take it out, take the back. One more. So 
Oh wait. So basically, you're coming here, elbow, hand, and using that to bring the person over. Try to hold it as high as you can. There's really nothing he can do. Everyone got it? On three, one, two.